We do custom butchering beef hogs. I process deer. We are retail exempt where, you know, we have retail stuff here. Most of the stuff I deal with is frozen. Uh, we do also provide catering for different events. So there's a vast majority of things I do. You know, we're small. We're not like some of the big ones. It's just me, two other guys, and I got another gal that works for me on and off. So, yeah, we're a small business. Cut-wise, I offer about anything that the grocery stores do. Our specialties is in our smoked meat, summer sausage sticks, jerky, you know, stuff like that. I learned a long time ago when you get into this, you have to find something that is your niche. Whether it's something with a meat or a product. Every locker in the state of Iowa has their own niche. It just all depends on what it is. So you find that, you kind of get something that's good nobody else has. They kind of like it and you go from there. It probably took me the better part of at least five years to start gaining the trust of this town. Once I gained it, now I get a lot of people that come here. So for me to overcome that and to get people to trust this place again, that's pretty rewarding in itself. For me, I just want people to know we still do butchering of custom beef and hogs. That's what I favor heavily. You know, I like people just to come in. You know, you get somebody to walk in, whether they buy one thing or two things, you've made a goal. Most of my butchering is not local. A lot of my crowd pull is, well, I get people from Grundy Center, I get people all the way up past Clear Lake. I get people South Iowa City. I mean, I have people come from Marshtown, people from Des Moines, yeah, all over the state. I was 14, I think, when I started doing this. So the guy that used to own Frederica, Bill Ort, he's the one that actually got me started because our family has a fishing resort in Canada. So long story short, he was up there and he watched myself and my brothers, how we ran flay knives. So when we got home that fall, he said, hey, you guys want to bone deer for us? None of us thought twice about it. My brothers and stuff said, yeah, why not? That's how I got started. You know, it's funny, when I started this, I had a couple different people tell me 18 months I'd be done. They flat out said I wouldn't make two years. So I'm still here after 12. <laughs>